Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. So since the last episode, we have had an update. We are now in Alpha 59 and that update has brought a couple of big changes. We have a map expansion over on the west hand side. Uh, that has some new rocks and some new tree types. Um, there was a, quite a bit of work I think went into implementing those two new features there definitely a new um, system of implementation than exists in the rest of the map and uh, there was a lot of work by the look of it to get those working and not affecting any performance um, so that's interesting we'll go and take a look at that as soon as we um, as soon as we can uh, we're just coming to the end of today so we'll probably um, stay here overnight and then head out very first thing in the morning and the other change is uh, food spoilage has been added to the game. Now, I was fortunate enough to spot a discussion in the Steam forums about these changes that were coming in. Um, some people had seen the changes implemented on Experimental. So I opted out of Experimental and spent a couple of in-game in days grinding for um, sandstone in the lakes and um, managed to refine that sandstone, turn it into glass fragments, turn the glass fragments into glass jars and um, basically when I came in here turned a lot of the fruits and vegetables um, that I had that were sitting in my oven I turned those into the new chutney recipe which is the way we now need to preserve our vegetables um, so, as you can see, it takes two onions, two carrots and some medicinal herbs, along with some water and a glass jar. And that enables you to make this chutney. It uh, can be stored without refrigeration in the same way as the berry, uh, berry jam does. It uh, gives you 60 fruits and vegetables and 30 hunger, with a small boost to max health and max stamina. And if you compare that to the berry jam, that's 70 and 24. So this one gives you a better hunger boost, but less fruits and vegetables. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the way we're going to need to deal with our food these days. Now, um, medicinal plants do not spoil. Neither does the honey, I'm very happy to see. Uh, but berries and potatoes and tomatoes and all that stuff does spoil. I'll show you what I have in the fridge in just a second um, but while I was out mining uh, sandstone in a mad frenzy trying to uh, race against time before the update uh, kicked in um, I turned my mining drills over to produce um, water bottles and then turned a lot of my blueberries into berry water so you can see I've got a stack and a half Something I would like to see added in the future is a way to make these protein bars. Whether that means we need to use eggs, meat, mushrooms maybe, um, and you know, to turn this stuff into protein bars, that would be really nice. Um, I've got a good stack of them. Uh, I've been stockpiling them for a while. They won't go off in your inventory. Um, but yeah, these are going to be so valuable on, on runs out. Um, during the day now because I had a stack of kelp um, I don't know if you remember what was in here there was berries vegetables kelp eggs mushrooms I had a, a stack of um, kelp that I couldn't fit in the fridge on me and running around for a day now the update has um, has landed um, pretty much um, it was rotten by the end of the day disappeared so um, yeah it, it goes down very quickly, which is maybe something that could be tweaked. Um, it is very fast um, to decay right now. So that's the chutney recipe and um, it's just a bit of a change. We're, we're going to need to get used to maybe having a farm plot for onions, carrots and medicinal plants side by side. And then when they're all ready, make sure you have a stack of jam jars, get your water and come and you know make up a batch of 10 chutney um, so that what you pick what you harvest doesn't decay and um, you get that um, basically to uh, to store 
Okay, let's turn a light on. I'll show you what I've done to the fridge now. So if you remember, we had a lot of raw meat in here. Um, I've turned a lot of the tomatoes into tomato soup. These are the berries that I had left over after making all the blueberry water and the tomato soup. I had um, these left over. Didn't have any more room, really. I do not want to make another fridge. Um, I want to try and manage my food differently now and see if it's see if it's doable so i turned a lot of the eggs into steak and eggs to get rid of the steaks i made some chicken stew so i had a couple of chickens that had matured um i chopped those up and used some vegetables and made some chicken stew and i did the same with a rabbit i had some premium rabbit meat um used some more vegetables to um to make up the rabbit casserole um, made as much jam as I could so I've got two stacks of berry jam in there now and this is what was left over and then this is the remaining um, food so only 10 carrots but 24 onions I made some liver and onions to use up some onions don't have any potatoes in here you'll notice because I turned um, as many as I could into alcohol using the distiller over there and um, yeah, I've got these eggs left and a few mushrooms. I'm keeping hold of the mushrooms in case there is a recipe that comes in in the future that maybe will utilize these. So um, these are only found in the caves right now. It would be nice to find these up on land, maybe on some fallen logs um, that could maybe be implemented in the future. Would make sense, I think. And that would also be another way of finding eggs out in the wild. Um, that's just my idea. That's not actually a plan or anything as far as I know, but um, yeah, it would be nice to see something like that moving forward. Um, yeah, so it's a different way of looking at this, I guess. Um, food and vegetables should spoil. I think at the moment the decay rate is too high. Um, you know, I had um, a leftover stack of, of kelp only about 25 or so but I had them in my inventory and I ran around for a day by the end of the day they'd gone so I think that's too high it's going to be very difficult when you're out and about for a, a day's run looting and you find vegetables or fruits and things along your travels it's going to be very difficult to get back to the base and get them into the fridge in time um in order to even think about making any jam. I think if we can farm rose hips, um, strawberries and blueberries, like we can all the other items, that would help because then we can make, um, in the same way that I suggested, you know, we have a plant bed for each of these items to make a chutney, maybe we could have um, a fruit, um, set of plant beds and then you know when you harvest all those items you can get cracking on making a, a, a stack of jam so maybe a few things to think about for the future but we'll see what happens i'm sure there'll be some tweaks and changes um now there have been a couple of other things added um a couple of things i've really enjoyed checking out um some new skins so we've got a new skin for the winter jacket the old one was this blue color we now have a snow camo. So if I have a a look here, you can see the, the new um the new style. It's pretty cool. Let me turn around so you can see the back as well. And I do prefer that, I have to say. I do prefer that to that blue skin that we uh was the standard skin before. Uh this is purchasable in the Steam store. Um, you just need to add some funds to your Steam wallet and they're very, very cheap. Um, but it's just a way of um, supporting the the, uh, the game, basically, I think. There is also a new skin for the shirt. Um, this was the original colour, like a nice sort of brown and um, red tones. This one has woodland camo. So let's have a look at that. Let me stand kind of here. That might be the best. There we go get a good look at that so that's the new skin for the shirt let me just back up and try and see if we can make sure we see the back as well there you go pretty cool 
I do prefer that to the red personally. Um, and also, let me put this jacket back on because we're going to need this um, to travel over to the new area. We're going to we're going to take the mountain pass um, and run through the uh, the snow a little bit, so we might get a bit cold. Uh, there is also two new weapon skins. So um, previously we had for the rifle uh, just a standard wood and black. Now we have black camo and gold trim. So let me equip that and hopefully we'll be able to see lighting's not great maybe we'll check this out during the day i think you get the idea so that goes very well with this winter jacket i quite like that combination and that was um, a weapon we didn't have a skin for before and also there is now one for the revolver we had a default wood and gunmetal kind of color uh, we had a black and black camo and gold trim, which was available in the last update, and now we have nickel plated with a black grip. Um, so if I equip that and we do the same thing again, um, mm, yeah, we might need some daylight. Might need some daylight for the uh, the best view of this. Good grief. Yeah, let's not get quite so close, maybe. Maybe something like that. Let's have a look. Yeah, you don't get the nickel effect quite as well indoors as you do outside. It's nice and shiny. Getting a, a, a purple glow from the uh, glow stick. But uh, yeah, so uh, black and nickel. So that's quite a nice combination too. So I do enjoy these um, little skins that uh, are available and I, I like to buy them. They're very cheap and it supports the game. So that's fine by me. Um, OK, now we are going to head out and go and check out the new map area. Um, how are we doing for power? We've got plenty of power. I don't want the fridge to fail. So let's keep an eye on that. I did uh, also manage to craft up a bunch of lockpicks, which is awesome. I'm going to have, um, let's see, let's have a rib roast. Yeah, I think that's good. And let's have a berry water. Or should we just take some normal canteen water? Yeah, why not? Right, we'll take a couple of you. Let's take a, let's take a berry jam. Um, we will have fruits and vegetables along the way that we'll be picking up, so we should be good to go. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, now the new map expansion was a lot of uh, a lot of behind the scenes work, I believe, to implement um, because uh, I don't know if I've already mentioned this. I can't remember what I talked about at the beginning of this video. Um, there was a new uh, method of um, implementing the rocks in the world or a new type of rock that's been implemented and um, getting that to work without affecting performance and also with the AI pathing across it was a bit of work I understand and the new trees um, instead of using the standard trees that come with the game engine I think these are a new uh, type of tree that have been implemented and these are or well, these react to the weather conditions and they will sway in the breeze um, differently to how these all work uh, these do have a movement to them but I think the new ones are more dynamic uh, but we're going to run this way and go and sort of see if we can get a shortcut across the mountains here are we good for everything? I just got to make sure we're prepared. Yeah, I think we've got everything we need. Um, I'm just trying to think if there was anything else. While I'm running, I'm just going to look down at the patch notes that I have on my iPad. It was the rock geometry that was... Uh, talked about. We should come across the uh, fence here soon. 
Yeah, the rock geometry was the uh, big change. Here we are, here's the fence. So we'll follow the fence along here. Um, so we'll see what that looks like as we get into the new area. There are also a couple of triangular building pieces. Um, yes, here we go. Wood foundation triangle, which will give us some new building options. You can actually make a nice round tower with these now. So that will be interesting. There's also a triangle ceiling. There isn't a new roof piece and there isn't a new glass triangle, which I'd like to see added, I think. Um, but um, yeah, we might do a little bit of building soon and maybe make a tower in the corner of the uh, in the corner of the base. Let me just see what else is on these patch notes. Um, dropped kit, expiry time increased. It's fourteen minutes now instead of ten on normal mode uh, and so gives you a little bit more time to get back to your bag and uh, different times obviously for the uh, the different difficulties minus 14 up here okay we're coming down onto the new area now yeah i think that's pretty much most of the stuff that's been covered in the uh, patch notes i will put a link to them in the description of this video if you want to take a closer look but i'm kind of running a bit short on time today so it's not uh, my usual um, a, a, a amount of detail shall we say that i'm uh, able to put into this video today but i did want to jump in check out the changes and uh, come and do a bit of exploring in this new area it's kind of nice having this route through the mountains to come through to this side of the map because we are completely on the wrong side of the map to um, take advantage of this new area. Let's head down here. So the fence is going to be just alongside this side here. Um, but let's get stuck right into the centre of this new changed area. Got a lovely big cliff there which I guess you could climb up with your climbing axes. I don't know whether there's any benefit for that. You can hear there's a lot of water and there are definitely a lot of streams. And uh, we'll come across the uh, new trees very soon. There's a, there's a glade of them over there, but I want to find some over in this area if we can. Oh, what did I hear then? Oh, there's a cougar over there. So this is also a new cougar area. I do wonder if the spawn rate for the rogue hunters will be increased now that we have this uh, additional area. That will be interesting to see. Oh, there's a set of rogues over over there. So uh, yeah, they're, they've already moved in. Oh gosh, okay. Now I think these are some of the new trees. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty cool looking. Oh gosh, a bear. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are definitely some of the new trees here with the very spindly stems. Get away from this bear. These here. They're very cool looking. Maybe we will learn. Oh my gosh, we found a lock crate. Uh, confirmation that all lock crate spawns in the new area. Oh, very nice. Quite happy about those ingots. Let me swap over my padded jacket, my um, padded vest. So we definitely don't need the extra warm over here. The extra warmth. That was very nice finding that lock crate, I have to say. I was wondering whether they would spawn here. Uh, 
Um, right, so here's a new glade, um, glade of these new trees. Let's go and check these out. Oh yes, one other thing. I, I keep remembering bits and pieces from the patch notes. One other thing was um, the rendering of shadows. And before, shadows were very much in the foreground um, of a view. And now they have been extended to be um, a little bit further back, which is giving a little bit more uh, depth, feeling of depth to the world. And uh, I love these new trees. They are very glade-like. A lot of canopy cover. And really interesting shapes as well. Beautiful. And uh, I think the plan is for um, the existing um, areas of the map eventually Cold Gamers wants to get in there and change a lot of the trees uh, to use this new method and uh, I've got to say these are very pretty very realistic looking I mean look at the texture there I think that's the most realistic texture for a tree I've seen in the game so far you almost want to climb those trees they look so good but you get a real feeling of shade and protection under these. It's very cool. Uh, and the new rocks. Um, I don't know whether there's much difference texture wise. Maybe a little bit. But the shapes that are available, I think, um, you know, it, it looks like it's given a lot more natural feel to the rocks, definitely, rather than those big hunks of, or big chunks of rock that were kind of semi-buried in the ground previously. So it'll be interesting to see what other options can be added as Cold Games sort of explores and experiments with these new methods of creating the landscape. I think the plan is, uh, Cold Games talks about, um, you know, expanding the map area. It's, it is necessary. We need the challenge of having to travel across the map, maybe to gather different resources from different areas. There needs to be a reason to have this, this large map other than just a variety of places to build. So. Having the uh, the map expansions regularly updated or added um, makes sense. You know, it's a part of the development process. Work that needs to be done. And uh, obviously takes a lot of time to implement, especially when you change the method of the, uh, of the way the, the world is built. So, yeah, I think it looks great. We've got a new beach front here bit of a rocky rocky shore that's very interesting I wonder if we might find um, like mussels or stuff in the water eventually freshwater mussels that would be cool but I love all the new trees definitely but we're lucky with the weather today uh, would have been interesting to see them in a storm um, how's my food? Oh gosh, right, we need to eat. I'm going to have a um, protein bar. I'm going to have a berry water. And I'll save that berry jam, maybe for the journey home. Now, let's pick up a, uh, a berry. You can see the status bar, the health bar, or the life bar of the, um, the blueberry there. We'll see what that changes to as we travel around today. Mm, a nice waterfall. I don't think there's anything different about the what's underwater at the moment. I don't know whether anything new's particularly been added there. I'm going to gather a few bits and pieces while we're over here. Oh! That was the eagle. So if we can see a small animal around here... 
which I can't see now. Maybe we could have uh, lured that eagle down. It's still uh, flying around. I was going to say swimming around. It's still flying around, so... Let's head up this way. I think this is the side of the map. Yeah, we've got the uh, fence here as well. Yeah, so we do have eagles the same way as we do on other areas. Let's let's run up this middle bit, I think. I don't want to stick to the fence. I want to see some of the the changes. Can't remember where those uh, rogues are in relation to where we are now, though. So, mm, okay, we've got a couple of wolves flanking us either side right now. I am ignoring a lot of the bags. That's not what we're here for today. No, I'm not seeing any small animals, unfortunately. What I don't want to do is run into those rogues, that's the problem. Oh, well, this is nice. So, like a double waterfall here. Let's have a look back. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, let's follow this water up, I think. Oh, I like this with the um, that little island sticking out there. A bit of deeper water there. There's a rabbit. I don't know if the eagle is still nearby. I don't think it is. I think it's moved on. No, it's moved on. Well, let's have a look at the blueberry. Okay, it's not been too long. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, rabbit. Yeah, the eagle's gone. It's squeaking. It might draw it in. Oh, and I'm happy to say the bushes do the uh, the rustle sound which is very cool right I need to find out where these hunters are these rogues I think they're over that way aren't they oh right we've got a wolf there let's sneak a peek over this way that looks like that's where the water comes out so that's the top of the stream on this side I don't really want to fight hunters over in this area so I'm kind of sneaking around trying to avoid them if we can really tempted to eat that berry but we'll hang on to it for now Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of open space, especially down there. A lot of areas to build, maybe. Oh, there's a no. I thought that was an eagle. It's one of the um, birds that are flying south or flying wherever they're flying. Yeah, let's head up into the uh, hills a little bit here. Real sense of verticality to the landscape for sure. Okay, so we're up on the snow line almost. How are we doing for time? We're doing okay. Got to, got to make sure we can get back safely. I'll try and take the other route back. Oh, <gasps> there we go. There's a, there's a chicken. Are you anywhere near Eagle? lovely blue sky no no sign of the eagle I think we probably missed our opportunity okay we've got a uh, bear down there let's have a look from the top of the hill here the, the rock hmm that's a nice view 
So that's where we came down, wasn't it? So we cut across the um, the pass there and then came down the hill. So it's only a, sliv a, a sort of a sliver of new land because the um, fence is over this way, but I guess this will all be um, expanded in time. Um, let's see what's this side. I really want to get an angle on where those uh, rogues were. There they are down. No, that's a that's a deer. I think they must be down here. I've lost I've lost my bearings on where those guys are. Hmm. Let's have a look down this way. There's a vegetable down there. So none of this area really has water. This is all a lot of usable land. I've got a wolf there. Going for the scrap. Ah, there. I think, is that... Maybe there? That's right where we came, came in. Yeah, let's get away from this bear and we'll have a look from above. Yes, there's some water down there, so I bet that's where the rogues are. Okay, right, we've got another blueberry here. That's about halfway. We'll add one to the stack. Nothing much up there. But we do have this lovely waterfall section. So several waterfalls. Um, there's one further up there as well and then we've got this one here a lot of bags around this area beautiful and this big waterfall right up there i go up and have a look at that yeah let's go and do that and then we can look back down this uh this expanse very pretty Got some copper on the rock there. Glowing in the sunshine. I guess I need to be careful of uh, cougars in this area, maybe. Okay, so we're up right on the snow line and this is where the water emerges. And that's the view down pretty much the whole of the changes I think you can see most of them from this direction that's quite cool let me get me in the shot too uh, can I crouch Ooh, kind of hovering in the water there uh, maybe crouch and do it like that trying to get a, a decent sort of shot of the the new area okay let's get that back and yeah we'll we'll run around the rest of this a uh, little bit more just to explore that's beautiful have a look from this uh original looking tree here Oh, this is quite a nice view. Oh yeah, very nice. So there's the the big sort of not not a huge pond, but quite a big pond, and then the uh, the lake in the distance. Oh. Got some shooting. So we know they're over this way. Let's go and investigate. Oh, I see. 
Some hunters getting into trouble. Wonder what they're taking on. Oh gosh. Uh, so a bear's taken out something. Wonder how many of them, how many of them have gotten into trouble. Okay, I'm going to run back up and back um, towards home in just a second, but let's just see if we can uh, get a view back up the hill. There's too many uh, animals around for my liking, unfortunately. This is a nice area. This would be a good build location. Maybe on the rocks here. I do have a wolf there though. Um, yep, yeah, okay. Um gonna run this wolf off just for a second. I didn't really want to take out the wolf, honestly. And I don't want to run into those rogues. Really just wanted to have a, a quiet look around. Hi chicken. Okay, let's head back down now. We've moved him away. Hopefully we can get back to where we were. Is that the campfire? For the hunters in front of me here? I'm not sure. Let's see, how's our food doing? Oh, we need protein and I think it's time we had our berry jam. That should fill us pretty much all the way up. Which I think it has done. I'm wondering if that hunter that was taken out by the bear maybe came down to do some fishing. Could be. I'm going to walk around the corner here and there's going to be a bunch of hunters, aren't there? Uh, no. I really just wanted to have a, a look as, at as much as I could before we leave, but I think we need to really think about heading back now. It's getting, it's getting late. I might go back the way that I came. I was thinking of going the other way, but honestly, I think I'm running out of time. Yeah, let's follow the uh, the fence up then, I think. And we'll go back through the pass again. So we'll run this way as far as we can uh, over to the fence and then run up the hill. And then we know, we know where we are. Um, we'll, we'll make a trip the other direction. Oh, look at this. I'm kind of glad we came this way now. We've got hunters nearby though, that's my only concern right now. Let's see. I really can't remember where they are. Oh, that's very pretty. That is very pretty. Let's get a, um, maybe a nice screenshot of that. Yeah, a bit of a flare in the foreground. Golden hour for the, uh, for the sunlight. Very nice. Okay. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Yeah, we, we're going to have to start making our way back home now. Let's put that back on. Uh, we're good for water. Um, I might take another protein bar. Let's grab that and let's see where these hunters are. Are they over here? Or am I safe to head that way past this set of rocks? <laughs> oh my gosh and head up the hill. I think we should be. There's another bear here. 
How do we avoid that? Yeah, we came down this way, didn't we? So... Let's head back up and head towards home. See if we can make it. Because um, this is one day we've run out and done this run. There's the fence. Um, if we can make it here and back all in one day, that's, that's not bad. Uh, just shows that the map does need expanding. Because a world like this, you really... You really want to be able to travel and camp somewhere and then travel back. And I think that's a lot of the work that uh, Cold Games is focusing on now in order to be able to bring us maybe new reasons to travel to different areas in the future. At least with the snow it is uh, a little easier to see at night so we've got our winter jacket on and we've got plenty of food and water and stuff so let's let's head back over the mountains and get back towards home got a lovely aurora a fence we've never followed the fence this far we're down to minus five right now watching my stamina. Should have bought um, a stamina boost actually. That would have been useful, wouldn't it? Could just run all the way home. Minus 12 right now. Gonna start taking a few health hits, but it's not a long journey across this uh, cold area. Oh, there's the fence. I remember that from the, the, the journey in, so we're definitely going the right way. Minus 16 right now need to do something about this stamina um let's drink some normal water and take a protein bar there's um our berry i think was that the second berry we picked i think that was the second berry we picked I'm gonna eat that oh and we got our jar back by the way which is pretty cool okay we'll just take it easy now oh it's nice being out here at night very cold minus 16 i mean that's pretty pretty chilly need some gloves i've got my my hands out on my uh, bow they would definitely be suffering right now okay we are almost back in the area that we know i could have probably cut across but i'm trying to lower my altitude so that uh we don't struggle quite as much we're back to minus 10 now so yeah that tr that journey is doable you can do that in a day um even quicker i would imagine if you use the um hang glider uh, which i haven't really taken advantage of uh, so far let's have a little bit of protein let me let my stamina recover maybe we'll walk for just a little while Ooh, some scrap. Midnight scrap hunting. Yeah, we're good now. And our health will recover as soon as we get back in the warmth of home. There we go. Stamina is back to full. Gorgeous nighttime run. And to be honest, I could have set back a little bit earlier and made it without this... Uh, worry of getting cold oh i see a campfire in the distance oh we got some rogues yep the guys are huddled around the campfire and there's a second campfire over there can't get over the moon i mean i'm so so grateful the moon and the and the aurora were added what a beautiful night night journey. Oh, 
there's a moose. The lighting on that moose was odd. He was sort of illuminated. And here we are. We're back home. Gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, a very nice addition to the map. More to come and hopefully more reasons to have to travel. And uh, it's a bit dark. Sorry about that. Let's get back into base. We managed to get the first lock crate in that new area. Um, got some good, um, some good items. The uh, metal ingots especially I'm very grateful for. And uh, managed to grab a bit of scrap and some other materials. I'd better make a, a fuel brick or two. Get the campfire lit here. Um, we've got one spare jar, um, which we'll pop back in the uh, oven here. And I'll wait till I've got a stack of ten. I think the best thing to do is maybe have a spare stack of ten to one side. And then um, when you harvest your garden, you can make a a full stack of, of these items and uh, we need some protein um we'll probably wait a little bit longer but i'll have a i'll have a liver i've got them in there i'll pop those uh, medicinal plants away we didn't drink that water that's fine and let's put the uh ammo away nice okay pretty good I'm, I'm very pleased we managed to do that journey i'm really liking the update it's um a bit of a change i was very fortunate in that i was able to prepare so i didn't lose a lot of my fruits and vegetables um but if you didn't have chance to i can understand if it might have been a bit of a shock um but moving forward i think um it makes sense we're, we're going to be managing um, fruits and vegetables more more carefully I do think the way to go will be plant beds make yourself a chutney set of plant beds and hopefully in the future when we can grow berries um, make yourself a set of jam making um, plant beds as well and then just um, wait until they're fully grown get yourself a stack of jars and then spend that afternoon sort of crafting the, um, the preserves um, and they store in the oven quite nicely, so at least the oven storage is still being used. Um, I would like to see protein bars added to a recipe sometime in the future. I think that makes sense. Maybe using the mushrooms from the caves, that would be a good idea maybe. And um, the new area looks lovely. Look forward to the new trees being implemented on the rest of the map, along with the rustle sounds for the bushes. I do think that adds a lot to the gameplay. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with the new update personally and I uh, hope you're enjoying it too. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.